This is Mary at the Marriottier, and I wanted to show you our peonies that are blooming. Yeah, I wanted to show them to you before a big storm got them or anything. They're coming up really nice. They're blooming really nice. Get up here and look at some of the blooms. Sun is shining really bright, so I'm not sure how much I can see, but I'll show them to you. They're really coming up very pretty. I need to get in here and weed. I, I fight these weeds in here. They just come up like crazy. I'm trying to keep them down. We've got some kind of darker pink peonies over here. They're very pretty. The wind blows them though. The wind likes to blow them. And it looks like we've got some yellow iris, tiger lily, I don't know. I think they're iris, aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? There's a train coming. I don't know how much you can hear because of the, I might have to put the sound on mute and because the wind is blowing pretty bad here and the wind always makes a noise that we can't hear. Some white ones here. Let's look at it this way. Very pretty. Train coming through. I just mowed the yard. Boy, that was a job, let me tell you. And over here, my can of bulbs, I don't think, my brother says one is coming up right next to my Rose of Sharon plant here. I'm going to have to get in here. And if they are up, if they aren't peeking through the ground by the middle of June, I'm going to I'm going to dig all this up and plant flowers in here that I buy. I'm really disappointed. All the weeds are coming up in there. Here's our corn right in there. Way in the back is our onion. And in here is our cantaloupe. I've scratched at the ground trying to keep the weeds down. We've got tomatoes coming up in here. And I think this is a cucumber plant in here. Right in there. Cucumber. My brother's radishes are down there. But I don't see where... I think that's all coming up in here are sunflowers. And my brother doesn't like the sunflowers. I think I'm going to have to dig all this up. Get rid of those weeds. I've mowed. I've mowed all of this today. Mowed. And mowed and mowed. Our irises are about done. My tomato plant. Let's go look at my tomato plant in the tub. It's doing really well. I think I'm going to get some nice cherry tomatoes off of it. I'm getting some blooms. See, look, I'm getting some blooms. And let me zoom out again. I'm getting some blooms in there. And some blooms up in there. I just watered it today. So, yeah, I think... I think that's going to... I keep buckets here for water. I'm going to make one of these into a compost bin. And I'm going to make a fountain. And... I have the fixings, I just need to get at it. So let's walk around here. Every time I mow, I have to move that park bench so I can mow under it, and then I have to move it back. That's a job, let me tell you. I'm kind of tired with all of this. I've got flowers coming up in here, and I think they're gonna come up very nice. I think these are all wildflower in here, and there's grass in there. I'm starting to pull around. There's marigolds in there, and I'm starting to pull off in there, but I'm going to water it one more time and pull when the ground is wetter. So, and the grass that comes up in here, I'm going to leave. We've got my beets coming up here and onions. We just planted some okra down here. My brother said there was one coming up, but I didn't see it. 
And he said some of our peas are coming up in here. And we got two rows of beans and then squash out in there. This all needs to be weeded. We're talking about planting another row of corn. If we get at it, we might be able to get some before fall. Another yard walk here. My flowers in here are coming up nice. They're babies. They're just babies, but they're growing. They're growing. We've got the wind's blowing them, but we've got a pretty plants coming here. Pretty flowers here. I think they're a. I think they're a daisy. I'm not quite sure. They look like daisies, don't they? That the wind. Maybe if I get at them this way, you can see them better. And of course, these were daffodil. We have to wait for those to die back before we can cut them down. And I watered these last night. But boy, the ground looks dry again. But I can't water them again until tomorrow because we've got even odd days. But we got marigolds growing in there. And there's not much going on except I mowed the lawn. I'll come out here and show you the corner spot. I watered out there yesterday too, but the wind dries the the wind dries the ground pretty fast. Hostas out here are doing nice, growing very nice. Hostas, and to my amazement, the weeds are staying down here. I expected this to be a lot more weedy than it is. Let me walk. These are hollyhocks here. And then I got I planted my marigolds in here. It looks dry, but I did water this all last night in the evening. But the wind blows. The wind blows and boy, I'll tell you, it just drives out the ground. And I had hostas in here, but they died. And then hollyhocks and hostas again out over here. So that's what's going on there. We got some lilies coming up over here. I don't know if they're going to bloom this year or not. Got some lilies in there. Some lily plants. And then I'm still working on the porch plants. I decided to plant my own petunia hangers this year. And they're just babies too. They'll, hopefully they'll all grow out. And over here I potted up some begonia. And this is a sweet potato up at the top here. That's a purple sweet potato. See that ground's wet. Uh, those are begonias in there, I believe, down at the bottom. And I've got some moss rose over there that I need to plant. My brother's on the front porch supervising. You come up the porch. i got my snapdragons planted here. I don't know how much you can see them because it's dark in here. And then I've got hanging planters across the way there. They're just getting a start. And snapdragons. And there, these were begonias. And these are snapdragons. I think there's some celosia in there. You come around here, some more hanging plants. And this is Becky's this is Becky's hydrangea. It's doing really nice. It's doing much nicer than it did last year. And I think we're going to get blooms off of it this year. And then I've got plants that I need to plant. Over this way, the daffodils are dying down. We're just going to let them die down. I've got a lavender plant here. You see my shadow. Got a lavender plant in here. And I accidentally dumped this planter over. This is thyme and dill. I think I'm going to pull the dry off. And I, this was rosemary. I don't know if it's going to survive. I might get another rosemary. And some petunias in there. 
And that, my friends, is just about all. I mowed out here. I mowed clear back there. I mowed and I mowed and I mowed and I mowed. <laughs> God, I've still a lot to do. I want to get my bird bath out. I want to plant some more, for, get those potted plants potted. And I'm going back around here so you can see the peonies again. Uh, zoom in. See the peonies, and that's where I started. And that's where I'm going to end. Happy Memorial Day to you. I hope you have a really wonderful Memorial Day. My tomato plant there. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow morning. 4.30 a.m. Bye for now.